Dance, dance, dance. If you are new here, my name is Elena and this is little William. He is nine months old and I am determined over the next two weeks or so to declutter and organize my entire house. Because with you, mister, things got a little out of hand because we have been busy figuring it all out. You already know the drill if you've been around. <laughs> But I'm going to start right here in the kitchen today because I have a few baby free hours. I do know that it is going to take a couple days just because my time is split up. But do you guys remember back in the day when I decluttered our entire house in like three days? That's insane. What are you doing? He's leaning forward all silly. You interested in the sourdough starter? We're just mixing up our sourdough starter, getting it ready for some fresh bread later on today. And I will check in with you guys later on. So we're gonna start with the places that are annoying me the most right now, which are the pantry and the fridge. And guys, it's gotten bad. At one point, this was beautifully organized and functioned like really well. Now things are just falling out. And our fridge, yeah, our fridge isn't as bad, but it needs a wipe down and a clear out and just general declutter. And here, my husband's bluebell obsession is kind of taking over at the moment. I need to figure all of this stuff out. I think it got so bad because I would go shopping with my little one. And once we got home, he was over it. He's like, mom, don't unpack those groceries. I need you, or I'm hungry, or I need a diaper change. So I would just super, super, super fast unload everything and shove things places. And I'm like, oh, I'll fix it later. Yeah, no, that never happened. Also on my list, I want to declutter all of this. Some of this has been here for years. Most of this is going back in a little memory box in one of the closets. We just like to look back on stuff like this, fun little memories, but I do need to be better about going through it every couple months because the visual clutter has just been bugging me. And then a quick wipe down of the fridge, shine it all up. I do love our fridge. It is fingerprint proof. Well, so they say. <laughs> it does a pretty good job of being fingerprint proof other than the handles. And then starting in our lovely fridge, it needs some work. I'm gonna start from the top and work my way down in little sections so everything stays nice and cold. I do try and wipe down the fridge every week, week and a half, but I don't get into these creases like where the shelves are and it needed a good wiping. I probably haven't taken everything out like this since, I don't know, before William was born. And oh my gosh, guys, please ignore the smear of sourdough starter on my pants. Right before I started this video, I fed my sourdough starter and it looks like my little one needed me and I quickly wiped my hand. So, you know, that's just sourdough starter. How, how embarrassing, probably not as embarrassing as my pantry is gonna be, but what can you do? A while back, we got this set of clear organizers for the fridge off Amazon and I have nothing bad to say about them. It just helps me keep everything sectioned off in its own little spot and organized. However, we did put the lid of the egg tray in the dishwasher, not thinking, and it warped a little bit, so it looks a little wonky, <laughs> but everything else survived and was completely fine. Oh, the deli meat drawer. I don't know why, but this always gets crazy, absolutely crazy. It should only have shredded cheese and deli meat, but you know what? We just threw all of our odds and ends in here that has no place. So we need to stop doing that ASAP because it's driving me crazy. And then those onion, those little onion peels. Oh, did you see those? They're gone off the screen, thank goodness. Those things annoy me so much. I do have these little gray bins. I put the loose fruit and vegetables in just so the little kiwi fuzz, those little onion peels and things don't get all over my drawer. And they do help just you know, not in the long run. The theme of this video is I just need to keep up on things a little better, but newborn life, and I don't have that excuse really any longer, so I need to get my stuff together.
anyone else just have so many sauces i was trying to declutter and get rid of what we don't use but we're just saucy people over here we just love our sauces and for whatever reason every time i clean this out these little shells are gross <sighs> I guess everyone's probably is. I don't know. I try and keep it clean, but eh, there's only so much you can do. And there's that stinking little stain. You see it on that um, third shelf down. Ugh, can't get that guy off. Don't know what it is. Been there literally since I can remember. I'm so happy that's done. The fridge always takes so much longer than I remember because I have to clean like every basket and everything. But to show you guys, we have butter, cream cheese, all of Will's hot sauce, he's kind of obsessed, any other sauces, and then some like breakfast stuff. So syrup, jelly, peanut butter, try to keep that stuff together. Down here is kind of what we use like more often or almost daily. Coffee creamer, Will always makes a sandwich. Um, then we have our dressings and ketchup and then we have things we don't really need to access all the time down to pickles and then like cherries and dessert stuff on the bottom here we have all of our veggies so a little um, container with all of our veggies and then all of our packaged stuff on the side drawer above has all of our fruits kind of same thing packaged stuff on the side and then all of our free stuff is in this little container. Now, moving up, you guys probably don't have all of these peppers. <laughs> these are from our garden. Will's gonna make hot sauce soon, so these are just dated little baggies from when they were harvested, and then these are his pickled peppers from the garden. He has like a million of them. <laughs> um, and then all of our yogurts. Will takes one to work every day, and I have some for breakfast, so we always are stocked up on yogurt. This is kind of empty for now, but this is like our leftover shelf. We actually love leftovers because I like to have them for lunch. And then my little breast milk corner here. And then we have our eggs and then like our dairy. So um, heavy cream, sour cream. And then we have all of our tall drinks and whatnot. Let me close that door. Keep it cold. Up top, this is like my random, random shelf. <laughs> But down here we have my breast milk. We are down to one little bag, guys. That is a sad day. I gotta work on that stash. I gotta work on that stash. Then I have like little quinoa meals. This bin is actually normally full if I go to like Trader Joe's and have different freezer sides, freezer meals and stuff. I need to go to Trader Joe's soon. Then I have this meat shelf, all of our sectioned off chicken breasts that we freeze. We buy it in bulk. Um, I guess I picked a good time to do the freezer because we don't have much <laughs> and that's rare. And then we have some like frozen vegetables and more sides that are a little bigger than what can fit in that container. And then Will's Blue Bell right up top there. Over here we have some fruit for smoothies and then Will's Lunchbox which is like a freezer one. It goes in here. Once I finished with the fridge, it was time to go get William from Grandma's. So this is actually the next day and it is after bedtime. I was just doing my little nightly chores, putting milk in the fridge, some dishes left over from dinner, and I decided to go ahead and continue our deep cleaning and organizing because the little man is still in that sleep regression. It's been what well, seems like forever guys. <laughs> and I figured if I'm gonna be up every 20 or 30 minutes to soothe him anyway, I would go ahead and get some stuff done. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And behind door number one is all of our bar glasses, all of our like vitamins, a little area for our bread and everything. And normally when I organize the kitchen, I would take every single item out wipe everything down and then put it back. But this time I'm going cabinet by cabinet just because where the placement of everything is has been working fairly well for us. So I'm just gonna kind of go through each cabinet, tidy it up, wipe it down, and hopefully find a couple things to put in our garage sale. I don't know why we haven't had a garage sale in the past. We just give, you know, 
three or four boxes of stuff to Goodwill every now and then, but if we would have just saved all that, we would have had a massive, wonderful garage sale. But we just didn't. It was just one of those things. We didn't want to spend our time with the whole garage sale business, but this time, we are doing it and the pile is slowly growing and I'm hoping to find some more in these cabinets. And I know I could get rid of some of these koozies or some of these bar glasses, but a lot of them have sentimental value and we do like to host and have people over so it's nice to have little sets of glasses too. All right, yay, this cabinet is essentially the same as it was before, but just so much neater, and I thought I wasn't gonna get rid of every, anything, but I found a couple things to um, donate, or we're contemplating a garage sale, we'll see. And then I threw away like some different stuff we haven't been using. This, I kept out, I'm going to throw it away, but I kept it out as a warning. It tastes gross, guys. I love the Freedom On brand, but don't get these, just just don't. All right, moving along the top of the kitchen, I was just kind of wiping everything on the windowsill down and decided to throw all of my kitchen brushes in the dishwasher. I like to do this once a week just to make sure everything is staying nice and fresh in there. Uh, looking back, I should have done this at the end of the kitchen deep clean, which I ended up redoing, but. Anyway, wiping down the window and the windowsill, which always has plant stuff all over it because of all of my lovely plants. And then my sourdough starter, guys, it overflowed in the morning and that stuff literally turned to cement. So here I am trying to scrub that thing off and it just would not come off. Oh my goodness. But, you know, a little bit of scrubbing, a little bit of elbow grease, it ended up coming off eventually. So the cup cabinet and this next plate cabinet are pretty straightforward. You know, we could get rid of some cups, but they all have sentimental value, just like the barware. And then eventually, hopefully, we will get a big, nice set of matching plates, bowls, and all that. But for now, this works and that is totally fine. It's not a priority. All right, so I've gotten a couple cabinets done tonight but it's still just a percentage of what I want to do <laughs> in this kitchen, but it got late. It is 12.40, ugh, because that guy decided to keep waking up. <sighs> sleep regressions, sleep regressions. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna call it a night just because my next two cabinets are literally insane. I will show you guys them now. Please don't judge, it's pretty, pretty rough. So this little cabinet here has always kind of been a catch-all. Um, as you can see. <laughs> and I decided to add baby stuff to it because I'm crazy. And you can tell this is full. This is full because I rarely put anything away because it just does not work. <laughs> so I gotta go through all of this. A lot of these items like in the far back are like holiday things that I'm actually moving to a different spot. So this should clear up a lot and I'm moving all the baby stuff to a different spot too. That's gonna take a minute rummaging through all those goodies in there. Then the other thing is my spice cabinet that is pretty rough. It's pretty rough and I have like recipes that I've handwritten over here. I need to get a recipe box together. I just have another time. <sighs> I do have a spice rack. It needs to be cleaned. I mean, and filled. I mean, look at this. Like this has just been sitting here and I have been using everything out of this cabinet because I don't have 
time. So I think what I'm gonna do, ugh, let's, let's close that. <laughs> um, what I think I'm gonna do is kind of get these all emptied and washed up, or at least like in the dishwasher. I think I'm gonna want to, yeah, the bottom's gonna go in the dishwasher, but I think I'm gonna hand wash the tops because there's some plastic and last thing I want is that to melt. But I think I'm gonna get this started and get these in the dishwasher and then um, kind of tackle the rest in the morning. I don't know if any of you guys used to work in restaurants, but I used to serve at Chili's, which I'm actually wearing one of my old Chili shirts as I was cleaning, which is hysterical because I was having major flashbacks of cleaning all of the salt and pepper shakers in the entire restaurant. We had to do it like once every week or every two weeks or something, and it was the worst cleaning job. So I was having a little nightmare flashback while doing this. Can anybody relate? Outfit change, it's the next day, and on to this crazy cabinet. This was the most annoying thing ever. I was unloading it and I felt like it was just never, never ending, but all that baby stuff, all the holiday stuff will be moving, so it definitely will be better in the future. On the bottom shelf in the back corner, I just slid some taco stands, some squeeze bottles, things I use on occasion, but not too often. And then our measuring cups, food scale, and some other little baking supplies are on this bottom shelf because I access them pretty much every other day. And I want an easy reach. And then on the next shelf, all of my little bowls. I know you guys probably think I'm absolutely nuts but we actually use these a ton <laughs> for little sauces. And if we have people over for taco night, I fill it with like all the different toppings and I actually use it all. And then around the corner, just some extra little things like apple cores and some sharp things I don't want at kid level at all. And then up top we have things I don't use too often like my mandolin. Now on to emptying the spice cabinet. And I went ahead and put it all on a tray and took it to the dining room table because I knew little man's nap was gonna be over any second. My little cat napper. <laughs> Sleep aggression and cat naps. Fun stuff. But thinking back, I should have just baby wore him because I forgot when I'm filling the spices, I had to rinse out my funnel. Um, when I changed spices, so that really just stunk running back and forth, but it worked out. He had a blast shaking all of the little spice containers and we made it fun. While William finishes his snack, I reloaded the cabinet and all those recipes, I'm gonna have to deal with all that later. It is on my to-do list. I have all of my oils and everything on the left and then on this little turntable that fits perfectly, I have everything that needs a grinder or needs a different type of shaker that can't go in my spice rack. Now on to the oven vent filter that I always forget about. It was pretty icky, not gonna lie. I just got a bin, poured some baking soda and some dish detergent in there, filled it up with some super duper hot water and then swished it around in there before leaving it for about 20 minutes. And then onto the stove top, some more baking soda all over and then poured on some vinegar and William loved to watch all the little bubbles pop up. It was really cute. He was pretty into it. And then a little uh, swish scrubby action with a toothbrush before leaving that for 15, 20 minutes too. 
And then I just went down the line and wiped down everything that is on my counter, like our electric can opener. If you see little William zoning out, I put on some super simple songs on YouTube. Ugh, forget Coco Melon, we love super simple songs. Um, then I went ahead and was just putting together all the bottles, all the pump parts, you know, all the pieces, and getting them together so I can organize those later. And then back to the stove, I just used a little metal scrubby. It is the soft version though, so I didn't scratch anything. And I just rubbed all of those hard to get off spaces and then wiped it down with a dry towel and then a couple times with a wet towel. You can see that those paper towels are a little grimy. It was definitely needed. All those little burnt spots got wiped off and it looked pretty good. And then that vent, it did still look kind of gross as it was sitting there. So I just took that same scrubby, scrubbed it off and looks brand stinking new after a little rinse. So I put it to the side to dry off before I put it back up. And then I scrubbed down the bottle drying rack. And this is the type of thing that I just never have time to do, but I know it should probably be done every once in a while. <laughs> it is sitting there on the counter getting dusty along with everything else. And then I went ahead and cleaned our toaster. It needed some love. Honestly, we need a new toaster. There's a knob missing. But I grabbed my barkeeper's friend, my absolute favorite, and scrubbed it down a little bit with a brush. I, of course, was very careful not to get it super wet or anything but then i just shined it up with a cloth and then i shook out the bottom all the crumbs and cleaned the tray out and washed those up too I am gonna go ahead and skip over the sink for now because I'm gonna keep using it as I clean the kitchen, but I am gonna wash up my soap dispenser. This has our dish soap in it, and I just think it looks way nicer than having the dish soap bottle on the counter. Um, you know, just, just a little bit less clutter and add some Dawn to my shopping list. Now on to the coffee pot, a little wipe down and then I clean the pot itself and the little coffee filter insert. And then I fill the coffee pot up with half vinegar and half hot water and just run a normal old cycle in the coffee pot. And then I'll also run two other cycles of just water to kind of flush all that vinegar out. Now I am pulling out the microwave and this little area behind, I was actually worried there was a ton of random stuff in there, but it's actually just some of my husband's uh, grilling stuff that he doesn't want to keep outside. Looks a little crazy, but honestly don't really know where we're going to keep the rest of it. <laughs> and then wiped off all of the lovely coffee grounds that were back there. And now on to the microwave, which isn't too bad right now, actually. It could have been way, way worse. Trust me, I've seen it way worse. <laughs> but I'm just giving it a quick little wipe down. And I put in a clean, wet little washcloth inside the microwave for 30 seconds. And that is just going to loosen up all the dirt and grime and make it easier to clean off. Be careful, though. You don't want to touch that while it's hot. It is super hot, scalding, gonna burn you. <laughs> and then I went ahead and wiped everything down and voila, a very clean microwave. I always forget how good it feels to have freshly wiped down cabinets and walls in the kitchen. It really does make a bigger difference than you would think and I actually might go and do another coat of paint on our cabinets sometime soon. I say that, but when would I have the time? <laughs> there are just a couple little chips and things, and it would be nice to have a fresh coat of paint just because we aren't gonna get around to our kitchen remodel in the near future. And then I just put all of my lovely clean items back on to the counter. <sighs> Wouldn't it be nice just to keep the counter completely clear all year round? 
Uh, it's a dream. Alrighty, it is the next day and little William and I are tackling this embarrassing pantry. It just got so out of hand, especially that Ziploc, you know, foil shelf. Yeah, you see it. I can never find anything. But we are just clearing everything out while we baby wear. You see us dancing and hanging out. I did give William this sleeve of unopened saltines and he just played and shook that thing around and danced with it for probably 15, 20 minutes while I was unloading. So if you ever need a toy on the go, you got a bag of saltines. It's a winner. And then it might not look like it, but as I was unloading, I was trying to categorize things to make it easier to put back and I emptied all of my lovely bins to wash them up. Now in a perfect world, I would go out and buy a couple more of the clear bins just so everything would match, but it's really not a big deal. It can't all have that perfect Pinterest pantry, even though it looks so much better now. Stay tuned for the after. It's coming up super soon. And if you're still watching this video and you have enjoyed it even just a little bit, I would love if you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe because we have tons of other organizing and cleaning videos coming up. I am doing this entire house, guys. William was so done working on the pantry, so this is later that night, and I am just kind of putting some bins around, getting lay of the land, making sure everything's gonna fit where I wanted it to, and then I am actually putting a little post-it note on each bin, just so I can make sure everything is going to have a spot, and of course, I can always tweak it as I go along, but this just really helps keep me organized and keep track of what I'm doing, especially when it gets super late at night like it did. Oh my gosh, guys, do you remember the before? It looks so much better. <laughs> Let's go through it all real quick. So back here I have all of our like back stock, so stuff that was on sale and about multiple, a little cooler bag, and then just some trays and things that I want in the pantry. And then here we have all of our Ziplocs. Everything is at one like layer, because once you start stacking stuff, that's when you forget about things and you know, it just gets a mess. So I have everything in one layer. If I have extras, they are in the back or I'll put them in the back stock. Um, I have all of our utensils and then like, you know, the to-go stuff when I make casseroles for people. Ignore all of our mason jars. They wouldn't normally be right there, <laughs> but Will makes his peppers and nothing else can go in there. Literally, everything will be spicy at the if they're in there it's literally insane okay second shelf we have some like snacks will takes these to work every day and then some little bars and then bigger snacks that aren't like personal are in here and then this is William's little bin with all of his baby stuff in. I had this just scattered around and it's just easier to know exactly where his stuff is at all times. Peanut butter, I'm sure there'll be more things back here, kind of like the random aisle, you know? Next shelf, we have all of our cans and I tried to separate them in categories as much as I could. And then we have all of our grains. So in here we have anything like granola, different noodles, more noodles over here that don't fit in there. And then bigger oatmeal, breadcrumbs, things that don't fit in the little grain basket. Then this next shelf is all of my baking stuff. Eventually guys, I hope to get those fancy jars, but we're doing this on a zero budget. <laughs> so I have all of my sugar and flour and then I have a little pull out bin with the rest of my sugars. Same with the rest of my baking items. So this is any of my yeast, any baking nuts, any chocolates, anything like that. 
So instead of like rummaging through, I can just take the whole bin out if I need to. This is like food coloring and little baking things that don't have another spot. Up top is our liquor and just all those glasses that don't fit the height of our cabinets. And I took this box, oh, I love, these are my favorite wine glasses, and they've been on top of our refrigerator forever because I don't want to get rid of them, but they don't fit anywhere. Well, they're going here now, and I am clearing this off today, or tomorrow, whatever. <laughs> I'm clearing this off. I'm sick of looking at all of the stuff on top of our fridge. Now, starting in the lower cabinets, I'm gonna start with this little kitchen cart we have, which is where we store all of our appliances. And some of these things I'm gonna put like, in a totally different area, just like the turkey carver, things like that that we never ever use. And then I think I'm getting rid of a couple things. I think we're getting rid of our air fryer, guys. It just takes up like a fourth of this cabinet and we don't use it enough. So I'm just going to wipe everything down and situate it. Um, you know, just our griddle, our little George Foreman, our crock pot, our coffee grinder, just lots of little appliances that we like to have that I would like off my counter and not on top of my fridge anymore. Now for these drawers, the top one wasn't too bad. It's just on my kitchen towels and pot holders, which I'm getting rid of some of these pot holders. Why do I need six or seven? I think I'm gonna keep three is what I think I settled on. And then just some of my kitchen towels. I have some more that are in a linen closet right now. Just because the bottom two drawers are gonna be baby stuff at the moment. So you guys know what I was doing with my pump and bottles, all that was just not working. And what I'm doing now is just to hold us over for the next two or three months until we wean. But I will be doing something completely different for our next baby, I already have a couple ideas. But this middle drawer is gonna be all of my pumping stuff, keeping it all together, pumps, Haka, um, breast milk bags, and then my lower drawer is gonna be all of William's food items. So his plates, his bowls, his cups, um, his bottles are with him at grandma's right now. So I will add those bottles into that little empty space there. All right, let's chat pans. I don't know why we have so many, but honestly, I feel like we use every single one of them. Maybe it's because I like to cook and host and all that jazz, but I just feel like we have so many. Is that one, what's that company called? The only pan or whatever? Is that a thing? Do you actually only use that one pan? That's just so hard for me to believe. I feel like my family could not function with one or two pans, but I don't know, prove me wrong in the comments, guys. This lid organizer that I have did really, really help when we got that last year, I think. But I'm just cleaning everything out, wiping it down, and stacking it up all nicely because I don't want to part with any of my pans at the moment. As I move along, I'll be wiping all the cabinets down and the dishwasher. I'm also going to wipe down the outside, but I'm not going to run a cleaning cycle just yet because I have a couple things in there. And I'm also going to go ahead and skip the under the sink cabinet. It just needs lots of love and I just did not have time this day, but it's coming in my next videos. All right, this corner cabinet, it actually is the best way for us to store our Tupperware. It really does function if we keep it tidy. So I'm just gonna take everything out and kind of get rid of a couple things and just, you know, organize it all, tidy it up a little bit. Please excuse this shelf. Look at that, guys. This is your sign to go to wherever you stand the most to cook dinner and you open and close a lot check that cabinet a lot of times this cabinet is like open while we're like halfway cooking because we reach down grab a bowl reach down grab a tupperware for leftovers whatever little crumbs fall in here of course there's rust and scratches because this is what 40 40 years old more i don't know this is an old cabinet guys <laughs> but it got disgusting but i'm just packaging everything up all nicely in there and making sure that it's gonna spin without like hitting the sides that is the worst ever and then putting all of my tupperware back i got rid of probably six or seven of our plastic tupperware we moved to all glass um, a couple years ago and we rarely rarely use our plastic ones but it is nice on you know days like Thanksgiving, um, 
or if we're going somewhere like the park or the beach and I don't want glass to break. After that corner cabinet, I was so excited because I was done for the day, but then I remembered I have my two drawers, the silverware and utensil drawer. They weren't too bad. I just took everything out, washed the little containers, and put everything back in, but it definitely looks nice, new, clean, and fresh. And then last but not least at all is cleaning my sink. Is it bad that I wish it was dirtier so I could watch the transformation? I love doing this. I just sprinkle some Barkeeper's Friends, give it a nice scrub and rinse. And it is just so satisfying to end with. I wanna thank you guys all for watching. I hope it gave you a little bit of motivation. Pick one spot in the house and start, guys. This took me, what, four, five, I don't know, something days, but I'm so glad it's done. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.